friends this is ayush here and welcome to my reading room today in this video i am going to show how to make a times table challenge game in scratch this is a wonderful game to learn and be smart in times tables in a more fun and exciting way let's start the script starts with the when green flag click block which is a common way to initiate scratch programs First, we have to go to the events category and take the when green flag clicked block. Now, we need to ask a question to the user, which times table they want to try. For that, we need to add an ask block. An ask block is used to prompt the user for the times table they want to practice. This will store the user's choice in a variable named table number. So, we have to go to the sensing category and take ask what's your name and weight block but instead of what's your name we have to type which times table do you want to try now we need to have a variable for table number create a variable to store the table number so we can go to variables and click on make a variable now we have to enter our variable which is table number now we can see our variable on the top of the screen now we need a set table number to zero block set the variable to the answer given by the user so when a user types for which times table they want to try it will be taken as a table number so go to the sensing category and take the answer block replace it with zero also we need to create a variable as score create it in the same way now we also need a set score to zero block use a loop to repeat 10 times so when a user enters a table a number it should ask the times table of that number from 1 to 10 So, so we have to go to the control category and take the repeat 10 block. We also need to have a counter. Create a counter variable to keep track of which time table you are on. So go to the variable category and create a counter counter variable. We also need a set counter to zero block and a change counter by one block. Put the change counter by one block inside the repeat block. Inside the loop, ask the question, "What is counter times the table number?" So, if the user gives a table number as twelve, and if the counter is at nine, it should show nine times twelve. So, we have to go to the sensing category. Take an ask block again. Put it inside the repeat block, and take. And, and go to the operators category and take the join apple and banana block. We need four of these blocks. Put the first one inside of the ask block. Put the second one inside of the first join block, and repeat this process until we put all of the join blocks. Now, in the first column, we have to type what is instead of apple. For the second column, we have to go to the variables category. Take the counter block. For the third column, we have to type x. For the fourth column, we have to take the variable to take the block table number. And for the fifth one, we have to put a question mark. Now we need to have an if else command block. To check if the answer given by the user is correct, so go to the control category, take an if else block, and put it inside of the repeat block. Now we need to go to operators, but this time take only two blocks, dash equal fifty and dash into dash. First, we have to put the dash equal fifty inside the if else block. Now we have to put the dash into dash inside the fifty. Now for the first column, 
we have to go to the sensing category. Take the answer block. For the second and third column, we have to go to the variable category. For the second column, put the counter block. And for the third column, put the table number block. Now, we have to go to the looks category. Take a say hello for two seconds block. We need two of these. In the first one, we can type correct instead of hello. And for the second one, we can type wrong instead of hello. For the say correct for two seconds, we can put it in the first space of the if else block. And for the say wrong for two seconds block, we can put it inside the second space. Now, we can go to the variables to take a change score by one block. Put it inside of the first space. Now, let's run the program. First, it is asking, which times table do you want to try? So, I want to try the times table 2. So, now it is asking, what is 1 times 2? 1 times 2 is 2. And it is saying, correct. 2 times 2 is 4. And it is also saying, correct. 3 times 2 is 6, which is correct. 4 times 2 is 8. But if we put something like 7, it will show wrong. 5 times 2 is 10. But if we put 11, it will show wrong again. 6 times 2 is 12, which is correct. 7 times 2 is 14, which is also correct. 8 times 2 is 16, which is correct. 9 times 2 is 18, but if we put 19, it will show wrong. 10 times 2 is 20. Now, we can see our final score above. And my score is 7. I hope you all like it. Try this and learn maths in a more fun way. Thank you.